Hello everyone, this is Hideous Game coming back at you with part two of Firewatch. So let's get on. Let's get on with it. Whoops. Let's actually hit the right button. Too. That would also help. I moved over my little like, self advertising thing. That way it doesn't block the text on the screen. Okay. I'm gonna have to work out for the kit cables. Okay. Let's do that then. Which other way? Other way. Gotta go the other way here. Where's the oh, oh, there's the outhouse. There we go. Now we're going the right way. Um so it's uh just the outhouse then in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Didn't ask. Did not ask there. At all. Did not ask. Anyway, so let's go work for these power lines, shall we? Let's go work for these power lines. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break. Or... And there goes my phone, naturally. I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, mm, uh, that's odd. Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. That would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Like, I gotta go do No, it really isn't video. always a bad thing. Okay, call me if you need to. Esca escaping isn't always a bad thing. It really isn't. Sometimes people do need a break. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Ah! Frames, do not skip on me. Bad frames, bad. Do not do that, frames. Do not do that. I'm just gonna keep on following the trail. Following the trail. Do, 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 do. Uh, is this the way we want to go? I think it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Not quite. I hear something rustling in the brush. I hear something making movement in the brush. And I see a beer can. What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. 
Yeah, I hope they did. I, 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 I hope. Um, more beer cans. God damn it. Damn litter bugs. Damn litter bugs. Oh, get more beer cans. First things first. Let's inspect, inspect the wire. That way we can actually talk intelligently about it. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make us. I could do that. Machine, but they stole machines. Mm -hmm. hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Yes. But I'm gonna need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. I'm on it. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. This is true. But I am definitely on the case, and I will scare them. I will scare them. What is with the encoder? All right. There better not be any problems, OBS. You better not be giving me any problems, OBS. OBS, you better not be giving me any problems. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. God damn it. Henry, can you not prime me? Jeez. Oh, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's yeah, enough rope here rope that it. I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, not a stickler for rules. <laughs> no, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. I shall. I definitely shall. Anything that would scar a photodome employee? I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Ah, no. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. <laughs> that would be an interesting. Let's read this. 6-16-86. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie with next week? No, not that shit heel. Steve, it's your man, Ron. I went up to the check, 
on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than useful for... For lols? More than usual for lols. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember, when you saw Chevney Brock having himself in that hamlock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the cream of the clam. Let's toast to Deb at the sport spot. Rock. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. <laughs> I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Put away the cat. Put away. Put away the rocky talk, man. Put it away. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. Yeah, and I think How anyone can. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away. And that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. <sighs> this would be actually a somewhat kind of, kind of fun job. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh, yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> I wish he was actually in a jumpsuit. That would actually be kind of funny. Also, would completely kill the realism of the game, even though this game... Well, the game is kind of realistic. Getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! <laughs> hey, Frap Jack. Why can't we just say fuck face? I mean, that's so much easier. To Jersey Wake we go. To the Wake we go. Wait, I can't jump. Ah, I was going to skip there if I could. But apparently, I can't. Apparently, that's too much to ask. Well, fine. Be that way. Be that way. Now we just have to go down Cripple Gulch again. I'm down by Cripple Gulch. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah. So. I had to. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh, do I have to, mommy? Yes, yes, you do. You have to go down Cripple Gulch, Henry. I'm sorry. 
if for nothing more than the fact that you found that camera and blinded me. Deal with it, Henry. Deal with it. See? You dealt with it. See? You got there. Ah. Frame rate lag. Probably because my computer is struggling with the... With the rendering of the scene. A little bit. Which, I'm sorry if there's well frame rate lag inside the recording. When it gets to YouTube. I am sorry about that. I will adjust the settings next. So that way it doesn't have that problem, hopefully. Because, jeez. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. It wasn't for me and my and fiance, Liz. Major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> well, at least he's honest. Uh, keep on opening up these fireboxes because why not? Who knows what we might find? Mitch Michaels, age 31, six. Six foot two inches tall, 165 pounds, short brown hair, distinctive facial hair. General information, Mitch Michaels was last seen around Josie Lake on Jan July 3rd, 18 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 81 by the Forest Service personnel. He is not he is not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location, Mitch was around, seen, was seen around Josie Lake on the morning of the 3rd. Of 1981. Vehicle information at 72 Ford 552 250 Boone Wright Montana license plate. If you've seen and blah, blah, blah. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Like so many people. What, grizzlies won't kill an a-hole? They don't have a taste for unapologetic pricks? Nope. It's why we haven't lost a ranger in 11 years. So, you don't think anything bad happened to those guys? Yeah, I guess it's possible, but we usually find evidence of stuff like that. For instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shred a pair of ugly cargo shorts. I like these shorts. I'm sure you do, <laughs> Henry. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, yes, I think that's I where I am. Oh, oh. Those trees are actually one I gotta great take a organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Where I saw, saw that smoke. Thank you very much. Oh. I see something with my little eye. And also, frickin' beer can. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. And coming. Booga, 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 booga. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah. 
that fight is properly stamped out. These girls have a full case of beer left here, a full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Hey, we found out who broke into our tower, so that's... Your tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear, or um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Now let's get one from behind. There we go. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Oh, they're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Day three, we made it. And with this, I'm going to end the episode here as soon as I can pause it. And in the episode, hopefully they don't immediately start talking once it loads. Hopefully, keep my fingers crossed they don't immediately start talking. God dang it. Okay, I'm going to end the episode here before we start talking again. Uh, guys, sorry, I hope you enjoyed episode two here of uh, Firewatch, and I will see you guys in the next one.